Now in those days, there was a, her, her job was to place the Dr. Bernardo's home collecting box in as many households as she possibly could. And then twice a year, she would put an advert in the local paper and people would bring in their collecting boxes and they would be emptied on their dining room table. And it was always my job to count the money. And it was there that I learned my love of money. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I enjoyed doing this. But my mother had a problem. It was a problem which I think you will identify with. Because in those days, all charities did something very similar. There was lots and lots of competition. So actually getting enough people to take the collecting boxes was the biggest hurdle. And my mother had a stroke of real, real genius. She let it be known far and wide that if you brought in your home collecting box, you would get a piece of my mother's fudge. <laughs> my mother made the best fudge in the whole world. And this really, really worked. I'm not kidding. Kids used to be standing, clutching their home collecting boxes. They would be queuing out the, the front door, down the path, out into the street and down round the corner, all with their boxes to have them emptied. And they were being heaped in, in rapid succession onto the table in, in front of me. And I was feverishly counting these. And I thought, they get a piece of fudge for bringing in their collecting box. It's only fair that I should get a piece of fudge for counting it. It's only fair. And so my mother grew to be one of the most successful fundraisers in the whole of Dr. Bernardo's. And I grew to be a very large child from <laughs> <laughs> And I learned something really important then, and that is the value of reciprocity. If you give, you will get. Even if all, the only thing that we give to donors is a story that tells them what they have achieved, what a difference they have made, that they've done something wonderful.